So our project was the solar eclipse travel plan for the next total solar eclipse in um, America, which is in 2024, and it'll go through America's southwest. And um, we will answer our first two questions now, and then the rest throughout the video and at the end. The first, um, the way we get objects here to there efficiently is the most time, or the most efficient time, cost, and fuel efficient um, path for vehicle. We chose a car because a plane, you would have to drive to Omaha to get a plane down to St. Louis, and then you'd still have to drive to get the rest of the way to our destination. And in the end, you'd still have to drive about three to four hours, and it'd be about 500 more dollars. Um, our next question is, uh, what considerations about an object do you, do you have to make to move it? Um, so there's a lot of actually considerations and variables that impact the weight, but you have to know the weight of the object, um, the shape, the aerodynamics, and how much fuel it needs, and how powerful the engine is. Because you can't go all the way to Evansville with a damaged engine or you're causing a breakdown. You have to call like an Uber or something. But um, yeah, uh, we have to find out the average mileage of the car is also, uh, so we can figure out how much it would cost to drive to and from Evansville and how fast you would be going on the roads. Uh, so we are traveling to find the quickest and most efficient routes. Now we will show our video. This is the first part of the trip from West High to Evansville, Illinois. First you want to leave West High's parking lot and get onto Castleman Street. Then you'll follow Catsman Street until you get to West 4th and turn left. After that, you will follow West 4th to Hamilton Boulevard and turn right. Finally, you'll follow Hamilton and turn left and follow the signs for US 77 South. Keep left at the fork and then follow the signs for Interstate 29 South. And, find, and then merge onto I-29. You'll stay on I-29 for about 250 miles. for about 200 miles, then take exit 210A to merge onto I-64 East toward Chesterfield. After that, stay on I-64 for about 12 miles, then use right lanes to take exit 20-20-20-20-20-20-20-20-20-20-20-20-20-20-20-20-20-20-20-20-20-20-20-20-20-20-20-20-20-20-20-20-20-20-20-20-20-20-20-20-20-20-20-20-20-20-20-20-20-20-
and then we have the distance to Evansville, which is 569 miles. It would take about um, nine hours, and the average gallons or the average miles per gallon, or it would take about 50 gallons of gas to get there. And the average cost for gas in Sioux City is 232. So overall, for two, to and from Evansville would be about 232 dollars. Your average speed to Evansville and back is about 67 miles per hour. Uh, what you will need for the solar eclipse will be just solar eclipse glasses. Uh, you will want to leave one or two days early to get there on time and be ready for the eclipse. And you can only look at the eclipse with you can only look at the eclipse without glasses when it's in totality. What makes objects move the way they do? Objects move the way they do because gravity, friction, air resistance, and what surface they're driving on, and how much power and how much gas they have. Finally, um, where do you? What was the history of motion like in the past, and what do you think it'll be in the future? In the past, um, people used vehicles that were man or animal powered, like horse carriages and walking. And if you walk to Evansville, it'll take about 180 hours. And then nowadays we use engines and motors that are fueled by gas, oil, and electricity. And with that, it would either, if you took a plane, it'd take about four, five, six hours to get to Evansville. And if you took a car like we did, it'd take about nine hours. And then in the future, I would think that the engines we create are gonna be more powerful, more fuel efficient, and much, much time, much more time efficient. And maybe, well, and it's like the Hyperloop. If we use Hyperloop, it could take maybe an hour or two. That's it. Questions? How'd you guys get the video of um, the driving on the highway? And then oh, going we got it from YouTube. And we have the source, actually. It came from a YouTube channel that's called e Eluck79. That's not copyright because we added the sources. Um, why did you choose that city? Um, because it's right in the path of totality and you get to see about one and a half minutes of the total, total solar eclipse. Why did you guys choose this? Or what came to me? We were inspired by the recent total eclipse that happened in August. Yes. And we thought this would be a good um, destination for our class because we're all um, very interested in science and math. <laughs> Alright, let's wrap it up. Nice job, Wolverine. Clap on three. One, two, three.